Kia ora everyone! Welcome to my kitchen! I know this is not my usual filming setup, but I have that big beautiful 5,000 piece Colin Thompson Bizarre Town Jigsaw Puzzle over in my puzzling display. That's from Ravensburger and it's a collaboration with Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds. So I thought let's do something a little different and we're gonna do an unboxing. I haven't done puzzle mail in like the longest time. Now First, let's take a step back. Remember when I placed an order with Puzzles NZ? They're a local online jigsaw puzzle store here in New Zealand. And I will admit, they offer probably the best variety of brands. Like they have Enjoy, Magnolia, Bluebird, brands that I just cannot buy anywhere else in New Zealand. So I had placed an order and I had bought this one, the Bluebird Professor Puzzle. If you haven't seen this video yet, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Best thing about that puzzle, the artist Chris commented on it. And oh, I love that. That just tickled me pink. It was amazing. So when I ordered this puzzle and the Magnolia one, Lance from Puzzles NZ contacted me and said, hey, are you going to use them to make videos? And I said, yes, I am. I didn't even realize they knew that I made videos, that I had a YouTube channel. And guess what? They offered me the puzzles for free because the brands allow him to like give puzzles for such content. And I was like, wow. So thank you so much to Puzzles NZ, as well as to all the brands I'm about to show you because they allow him to gift these puzzles and then that makes it easier on me to try to provide two videos a week of puzzling content for you all to enjoy. Now I will promise that no matter if these are gifted to me free or not, I will always, always, always give you my honest opinion. In fact, you'll note that in the Bluebird video, I wasn't the biggest fan of um, the piece cut, especially in the, the repeat pattern areas. Love the image though. And overall, I really did enjoy it, but it wasn't perfect, but I gave my honest review on that. So I just wanna emphasize that I will promise to give you my honest opinion on all these jigsaw puzzles. On top of that Bluebird one, I had ordered a Magnolia one and during the time lapse, because this is a jigsaw puzzle that is jigsaw puzzle themed, I had said that the Magnolia one was also jigsaw puzzle themed and asked you to guess which Magnolia puzzle you thought it was. And some of you did guess correctly. So it is the dissectologist. I mean, how adorable is this puzzle? It's of dragons doing jigsaw puzzles with dragons in the jigsaw puzzle. I mean, come on. I live in Middle Earth. I needed this. So this will be one of the next videos that I film. Um, I'm so excited to do it. And I'm so excited to do a Magnolia jigsaw puzzle. I would love to tell you the name of the artist. I will just put up a photo of the back of the box because I am afraid I will definitely mispronounce it. But how much fun is this puzzle? So this one and the Bluebird one were the first two that Lance from Puzzles NZ gifted me. And I want to thank the brands as well for allowing him to do that. That's really amazing. But then I had a lovely like one hour phone call with Lance. Such an amazing gentleman, really loves puzzles and just trying to get these brands to come to New Zealand. New Zealand is heaven on earth, but we're, we're a little bit far and I appreciate the shipping costs and the importation of things. But he gifted me this box of jigsaw puzzles, all new to me brands, none that I've done on the channel before. And I don't think even brands that I've like ever, ever done. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I just removed the labels and I really, I didn't look inside. Now he did ask me to pick out some puzzles and some brands. So I sent him a list. Um, I'm not sure what's included or what's not included, but let's dive right in. There's some packaging. Oh, I love that paper, paper. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm gonna flatten that out and I'm gonna use that to wrap something. Do you reuse your paper packaging? Oh my goodness. I'll just put those on the floor. Hold on. I got excited by the paper. I'm gonna, I'll reuse all that. Oh wow. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six puzzles in here. What's this first one? Okay, I'll put close ups of all these puzzles. This one is from the brand Workshop W E R K S H O P P E. This particular one is called Oasis. And the artist is, sorry if I mispronounce it, Reed James. 
How lovely is this? This one is a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle and there's a tagger on the front of it. I did ask for this one and I thought we could talk about taggers during the time lapse or oasises. Oa oasis I? Oasis I. What's the plural of oasis? This is how my brain works. Just goes all over the place. Lovely. Like the box. It's a little small. I wonder if it comes with a poster. Can't dive into that too much right now, but I will do a full video on this. Leave a comment below with all these brands, because a lot of them are new, like I've never heard of them. Let me know if you've tried any of them and what your thoughts were. But there we go. We have this one from Workshop. The next one, new to me brand, is called Pieces and Peace. So like Jigsaw Puzzles Pieces, and then Peace as in World Peace. Oh, look at this. This one is called Dream Destination. Is the artist Cam Camille? Mirira, Rira? oh sorry, oh I'm so sorry. I can't say that word. Thousand pieces, it's got a turtle. A turtle with a little world on its back. Oh, I love it. I love it. This says it's made in France. Is this one, I wonder, connected to Graphica and Bluebird? That would be interesting to find out. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna be tricky. It looks a little blurry, but intentionally blurry. Nice size box just says, yeah, it's all written in French in the back, but I, oh, in English as well, but I can translate that anyway. I wonder, yeah, so Dream Destination is the name of the puzzle, and the artist is K-A-M-Y-I-R-A. -A. So much fun. I have not done this brand. I've not seen this brand anywhere. I don't even know if I've even heard of this brand before, but Pieces in Peace, can't wait to do it. Going back to Workshop. I saw that they also had like puzzle snacks. Look at this, it's a snack size jigsaw puzzle and it comes in like a tearaway like snack bag and it's resealable. I can feel the resealableness of it. The rese <laughs> Yes, I did just say that I can feel the resealableness of it. Use that in a sentence if you wish. This is just a hundred pieces. It's called a jigsaw puzzle snack. Um, the name of the jigsaw puzzle itself is Pooch's Playtime. It's all about doggies. And the artist is Emma Jane. How cute is that? So that will go in my video, my workshop video. I'll do that along with Oasis. That is so sweet. I asked for this next one because of the brand. Because if you know my friend Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles, she goes on about Casterland. So I finally have a Casterland jigsaw puzzle. Oh my goodness, a thousand pieces. This one's called Santorini Lights. It looks like it was a photograph that's been kind of like digitally altered. I can't tell if the basis is a photograph or if it's completely an illustration, but it, it feels to me like it would have been a photograph that's been painted over. Who knows? I do not know. The artist, is there an artist listed? No. On the back of the box, they have a variety of their other jigsaw puzzles, but I'll try to find more about this puzzle, but we can talk about Santorini when we get to doing it. So I finally have a Casterland jigsaw puzzle in my collection. Now I'm not sure if this one is just New Zealand based, but oh wow. He told me, Lance told me he was going to put this in. I had no idea what it would be. This looks gorgeous. It's an art jigsaw puzzle by I believe a New Zealand artist, Abby Merson. Look at that. How beautiful is that? This, Community Spirit. This piece was painted in February 2023 when Cyclone Gabriel's Wrath pelted against the windows of my painting studio in Hawke's Bay. It was inspired by moments of post-cyclone community kindness, togetherness, and holding each other up when our hearts are heavy. Oh, yeah, that, so yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Cut. So yeah, Cyclone Gabrielle really devastated a lot of New Zealand and there's still places that it, um, yeah, it's been just over a year and we saw on the news, there's still houses that have literally mud up to the roof line. So this is amazing. Abby Merson, I can't wait to try this out. And look, they put the accurate number of pieces. It's 1,024 pieces. I wonder if it's a square jigsaw puzzle. This is beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this is, this is very special. I can't wait to do this on, on the channel. I don't know what I'll talk about. 
um, maybe Cyclone Gabriel, which would be kind of sad and devastating, but uh, there's other information back here about Abby Merson. This is gonna be lovely. I don't think it'll be that easy because you know me, the paint brush strokes are always a bit tricky, but this, this is gorgeous. This will most likely definitely end up on the wall somewhere. We're down to the last jigsaw puzzle, and I have to say thank you again to Lance from Puzzles NZ and all these brands for supporting him to gift me these jigsaw puzzles. It just means so much. This is a new to me brand, but not a brand I had never heard of before, Art and Fable. So I find, ooh, ooh, wow, wow. It's got a texture on the box. See, sorry, I got distracted, but someone had told me Art and Fable the pieces have a feeling to them and they, it was hard for them to describe. I've heard some people like it, some people don't like it. The box definitely has, almost feels like there's a wax coating on the box. Interesting, but look at this image. The Birth of a Dream by M Maria Brazosowska. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, I, you can tell. I wasn't prepared for this. I literally just popped these out of the box. B-R-Z-O-Z-O-W-S-K-A. My goodness, high quality print. What is this, 500 pieces. Oh, I can't wait to do this. There's lots of information on the back of the box. This will be so much fun to do and share with you all. My first art and fable jigsaw puzzle. Again, I wanna thank Lance and Puzzles NZ for gifting me all these amazing jigsaw puzzles. I can't wait to do them all. I already did the Bluebird, Professor Puzzles. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I'll also include Puzzles NZ website. If you're in New Zealand, go check them out. I mean, the variety of brands that they have, just amazing. They also carry Enjoy, in case I didn't mention that during the intro. Enjoy Puzzles, amazing. Which one of these puzzles are you most like excited to see me do? Are you familiar with any of these brands? What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. And until next time, ciao.